Welcome to the game room. Excellent question, excellent question. All right, so the Zen are a race of insect-based aliens that came from a faraway planet with the intention of conquering and invading Earth. Well, when they got here, they didn't realize how large we were going to be. So now they're a one-one scale, so the miniatures are actually life-size. When they got here, they saw how large we were. Half the fleet doesn't want to continue the invasion, but the other half still does. So they're fighting for control of their fleet. And the whole idea is that you play the game on any flat surface surface you could find, and the more cluttered it is, the better, because your clutter is their terrain. So in the past, if we've not seen any of our previous videos covering Zinvaded, we have played at airports, we've played on di diner tables at the local restaurant, uh, we've played through other games, to the, you know, to the chagrins of the players of those yep. games. <laughs> um, the, the whole premise of the bugs is we don't really know they're here, we can't really see them, but there they are, and so they fight through. So right now you've got three different factions and yes. another one coming soon. Yes, we do. So tell us a little bit about those three factions. Sure thing. Uh, the first two factions are of the Zen themselves. Uh, the first faction is called the Savem. They're the half of the fleet that doesn't want to continue the invasion. They just want to lay low, gather resources, and generally stay off of our radar. Uh, the Kill All is the second faction of the Zen. And of course, they want to kill all. They want to continue the invasion. They want to subjugate and destroy the human race and take Earth for themselves. Uh, the third faction, when they first landed, the Zen set up shop in a Chinese food basement and they started using Earth's bugs as like pack mules and different resource items and things like that. Well, over time, the radiation from their ships and from their equipment has started to mutate our bugs. And so we end up having now an army of Earth-born insects called the Terra. And they want to push all of the Zen off the planet. Cool. So, you also have uh, a lot of the bugs that are tied into the pop culture of the world as it is now. Yep, and they are called the Mercs. Uh, what happened was, is during the course of their time on Earth, the Mercs were drones from the standard Zen army that really got inundated by all the pop culture we have. They really got kind of psyched and into it and started to form personalities, which is a real big no-no for the Zen culture. Right. Uh, if you're not a drone, you're not in it. That makes so, sense. So they started to get ostracized and started forced out on their own. So what they decided to do was band up and they lend out their talents and their skills to other teams of Zen or Terra that are willing to pay or give resources to them. So you have uh, like comic book fans uh, in the group. Uh, we have one, it's called Caps America. Uh, we have a lot of the movie fans and things like that. We have one gal called Copycat. She's a big fan of the Hunger Games. Uh, we have another one. He's called Z800. He really, really, really loves the Terminator films. Uh, another one is, Z is uh, Diesel. He was a big fan of the Pitch Black movies. Yep. yep. Very awesome. Uh, now, the last one I'll talk about is called Zaucha. Now, he is from a completely different race that we haven't explored yet. Uh, they'll be coming down the line, and they're called the Scales. Now, what happened is, when the Zin left their world, there was another race of aliens on there as well called the Scales. Uh, they were kind of a, a constant antagonist sort of force and they would use the Zen as uh, both food and labor and things like that. So when the Zen left the planet the scales had no idea where they were going. Right. So what they did is they sent out scouts all across the galaxy. Zaucha happened to land on Earth before the Zen even got here. So when they got here he realized how outnumbered he was so he tried to broker kind of an uneasy peace and he lends himself out to them when they need him as, uh, as a mercenary just in exchange for resources and, and for not being destroyed by them. Very cool. Now, this was originally a, a very successful Kickstarter. Yes. And you have another Kickstarter coming soon. Yes, and we do. Like next month, even. Yes, we're, uh, we're hoping to launch here in October to tie into Halloween. Uh, the name of the expansion is going to be called Zinvaded, Don't Let the Zed Bugs Bite. Very cool. And the whole premise is it's going to be like a survival horror type of game where 
you'll take a single hunter into uh, what we call a hive area, which is basically anywhere that is contaminated by the Z bugs. So you're going to have missions where you're going to go in, you're going to try to gather data up out of a, out of a terminal, you're going to try to rescue Zen or Terra that are held behind lines, uh, or you're just going to go in and do a clean and sweep mission. And so uh, the idea is the single hunter goes in and there's an AI system to control the Zeds, unless you have a friend that wants to be the bug. So you can be a one player game, or it can be two player or more, as many players as you can get in there. Uh, so they'll go in as a single, and the great part about that is the game will come with the hunter figures, they'll come with two of them, as well as the zombies that you need, and then if you don't want to use one of those, you'll be able to use any one of the singles invaded figures that you already own. They can come in and be a hunter as, as well. That is super cool. Um, now, you mentioned the Chinese restaurant, Yes. and this is one of the, the, the coolest things about Zinvaded. How do the they took up shop in a Chinese restaurant. Yes. How did they start moving out to the rest of the world? All right. So what happens is every time a to-go order leaves the restaurant, they're hiding inside the to-go containers, and so they're branching out slowly with their invasion each to-go order. So every time I order my Chinese noodles, little bugs are going out with them that you don't know about, and they're branching out that direction. Exactly. That is the cool thing. <laughs> it says everything you need. This is actually the two-player starter box. Right? It is. Yes, it is. And it even has a, a Zinvaded ego, ego face. It's got a uh, ingredients on the back tells you what you get in the box. So what comes in the two-player box? You get six miniatures. You get uh, two three-man teams. It's a slot-based system, so you have a leader, a support, and a scout for each team. And then you have three Z grubs, or no, three grubs, I'm sorry, uh, three grub tokens, and they represent your resources because being grubs, they're like the larva. They're like the future soldiers and future workers. And so there are rescue missions inside for them and, uh, and uh, gather missions for them. And then you have two dice, you have your tape measure, two pencils, stat sheets, uh, rule book, and a missions book. Literally everything you need. Everything yep. you need. You, everything you, you need. You pick this up, you take it off to your local restaurant while you're eating dinner, <laughs> you play Zinvaded. John, thank you very much for uh, Thank you for stopping by. This. Thank and, you. Uh, stay tuned for more coverage of Zinvaded because we love this game and you will too. <laughs>